Hey everybody, this is Adam from AdamMulholland.com. I also do the AM Podcast Network. And today I was actually writing a little bit about the value of email marketing, newsletter marketing, whatever you want to call it. And I figured, well, why not go ahead and just do a video on it and just show people what it, what it looks like. It was mostly just for the podcasting network. But then I realized, I'm like, wait a minute, this goes beyond like just the podcasting. It's how do you reach your audience? This is something that everybody that's doing something on the internet really needs to understand and get control over. Right now what you're seeing is you're seeing the AM Podcast Network. I went to uh, Luke from True Sounds from Underground, Episode 9, uh, just so I can kind of show off the this little widget right here. And this is something that I built over the last five months. This thing is called the Total Support Widget, and I'll put that in the description below. What it does is it's a 300 by 300 pixel here for uh, whatever image you want. It goes to Patreon. I did not include any other uh, uh, fundraising platforms, just Patreon for now. And and then you get, this is all font awesome. This is what I love about the widget. I'll also link to this in the WordPress directory so that way you can read all about it. But the main thing about this is I also include the API and everything you need for the newsletter for Sendy, which is what I'm, I'm about to talk about. People can just come here, put their name, their email, subscribe, and boom, they're on your list. This is so powerful if you are a content creator. So I have this on the AM Podcast Network. I also have it on my own personal blog where you can see, you know, I'm over here on this side. And, and what I like about this is I can put this widget anywhere. I can make unlimited sidebars I can have, you know, endless opportunities here to get people to sign up for my newsletter, which is fantastic. It's what we want. So let's go into, uh, let me just show you real quick because I have it pulled up. This is the total support widget. When you click on the link, this is what you should see. It's very, very new. I mean, I've put this up, well, it says a month ago. And I haven't really been pushing it, so I don't have stars or anything yet. But I did take care of a couple of threads. Anyway. This is awesome if you want something in your sidebar that's already you know made. It's all free. Uh, there's no premium version, and I'm open to any. I'm open to anything that people want in it, as long as I when I update it, you know it's a reasonable request. I'll put it in there. Let's go to Sendy because this is what I, I'm using. In the past, I had used uh, Mailchimp, and it's great because they have a free tier, and I think it's twelve thousand emails per month and it's free but if you go over that that's when you start paying now for somebody just starting out it's not a bad deal right if you only send a newsletter like once or twice a month and you don't have that many people maybe 500 people are, that are on your list then this is not a concern of yours you will be in the free tier and it's no big deal however once you get into you know higher numbers on your list and more of people wanting a regular newsletter like once a week, twice a week, three times a week, well you can reach 12,000 pretty quickly. I use Sendy which is a self-hosted email slash newsletter program and this this basically links up with Amazon, AWS, uh, SES and SNS which is email service and notification service. So it gets really techy when you go on that side so I don't, I don't want to do that here in this video. What I want to show you is this is all my campaigns. Now I my personal blog is not heavy traffic at this point. I'm just kind of developing content. So I don't really put this out there. And I'm even shocked that I, I'm in the teens for recipients. Soon, I'm hoping by the end of the year that this will change to thousands. But I wanted to show this screen because these are my reports of all my campaigns that I've sent out. It tells you the dates, which you can see I have not been sending them out at all very much. But What's more important is I can see unique opens, 66% open rate, 37.5, 50, you know, and I know these are low numbers, so maybe it's not indicative of what you might experience, but still, I get more action on my newsletters than I do on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, you name it. Let's move over a tab. I just want to show you, you know, this is my list. I just have one list, but I can add to this. I can have as many lists as I want which is really cool. And I like that Sendy also tells me that there's a new version out. 
I wanted to see what he adds into the next revolution of Sendy. Next tab is my reports. I actually get reports. Now, I'm not going to scroll down because I don't want anybody's email, you know, marked in here because it will show. But it tells me open, not open, you know, and it tells me United Kingdom, USA. It gives me a lot of stuff. Like, I can go scroll down and see who unsubscribed, who marked it as spam. I get a lot of flexibility out of Sendy. With some of my lists that are actually into the thousands and if i choose to send multiple times a week i only get charged 10 cents that's 10 usd cents for every 1000 emails i send so if i send 10,000 emails i owe amazon a dollar how do you beat that i don't know i really don't know this is something for any podcaster any content creator you know, I know Patreon's getting really, really big, and I'm I'm so happy to see that. I'm happy to finally see something that, you know, takes control and says, all right, we're going to fundraise for this show or, you know, this channel, whatever it is. But in relationship with Patreon, you have to think beyond just, oh, well, I'll just tweet it or, oh, I'll just put it on my Facebook page. You need to have a newsletter so you can go ahead and, you know, send – send out a message to every single person that signed up like hey episode 12 just dropped on my podcast come check it out or hey i'm traveling you know to france or wherever you know i'll be here here and here and let me know if you'd like to meet up and and you know hang out whatever it is this gives you an opportunity to get into somebody's email box and it's very quick it's professional you can bring your own templates in. There's so much opportunity here. So if you're a podcaster and your show does not have an email list, you need one. Start one. This is something I am going to start offering. I'm already offering it on my personal blog. It's uh, $5 a month plus you know you pay for whatever you send. So if you don't send that much, you're not going to get charged that much. I'm going to get it up on the AM Podcast Network soon. We're doing a huge overhaul and my goal is to integrate this into like the one sign on, you know, for everything. And I want it to look better. I think there's just so much stuff I can do with this. So I'm telling you, if you're not into doing your mail list, get your mail list started. And you need to do it today, right now, if you're not doing this. You need to start collecting email addresses so you can actually tell somebody, hey, I just put out a blog or I just put out my next podcast you got to get this that's it for this video i appreciate you watching this is adam from adamaholland.com or the ampodcastnetwork.com until the next one thank you